Hi everyone, this is Ida. I am back, you guys. Um, I had forgotten that my friend Carolyn had asked me to do a um to do a video on how to use the uh, mini envelope punch board. And um, cause I gift. Oh, sorry guys, I gifted her. Let me. I keep forgetting to to put my phone on talk so it won't ring. Um, I forgot, guys, that, um, I mean, I didn't forget. I gifted her the mini envelope punch board, and I also gifted her the regular size punch board. And um, I absolutely love, love, love my mini punch board, and I use it all the time, guys. So uh, I love making those little love letter bundles. And I have two pieces of paper here, and, and they are square. One I embossed with the uh, Tim Holtz, I mean, not the Tim Holtz, the Civix 3D embossing um, folder. And this is like, a, it's a very thick em uh, embossing folder, you guys. I absolutely love uh, the 3D embossing. I love embossing, but 3D, is, you know, it just takes it to the next level. And I always do spritz my paper with a little bit of water. So that way when I emboss it, because the embossing is so deep, I want to make sure it doesn't uh, break the paper uh, or tear the paper. So that's why I spray it. And then it, you know, it's more pliable when you send it through your embossing machine, through your embossing folder. Anyway, I already pre-cut my papers. Now the, the card that will fit inside these papers, uh, right here, it says card size. And you guys can probably see it better than I can because I actually cannot make out a lot of this stuff, especially the stuff that's in the green. And I had to snap a picture of it, guys. So when I'm making an envelope, I have to go back to my photos and I really need to print it out and, and tape it to the bottom or something. Because of the being the, that green color and then the, the white or the cream, you can't really make out the numbers that well, especially when you get to be uh, my age, you don't get to see. You, it's hard to see. Anyway, uh, the card that is the one that we're going to make is the one that fits a card that is one and a half inches by two, which is this one right here in the, in between um, the two greens right here. So it's the one and a half inch card. And right up here, it says card size, guys. So for the card size that measures one and a half by two, we're going to need right here, it says paper size. So you just go down the line. So if we're making the one and a half by two card, then we need a piece of paper that measures one and three eighths. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know what? I think I cut this wrong, guys. Nope, I think it's right. Uh, we need a piece of paper that measures one and one eighth. I mean, three and one eighth by three and one eighth. You need a square. And we're going to score it at one and three fourth. So it'll tell you right here the card size, the paper size, and the score lines. That's what all these numbers mean. So the card that will fit in the envelope will be one and a half by two. The paper piece that we need to make the envelope has to be a three and one eighth by three and one eighth square. And we have to score it at one and three fourth. So sis, I hope that I'm explaining this where you understand it. And I'm just going to, um, what I'm going to do, I usually don't use the little score tool that comes down here. I use this one by We Are Memory Keepers and that's the one I like to use. And uh, all I'm going to do, sis, and I'm going to turn it sideways. So I'm going to find right here, right here, I'm going to find the one and three quarter mark, which is right here. One and three fourth. I'm sure you can see that, especially the closer I move it up. So I'm going to line my paper up right here to the one and three fourth. There's the one. And I'm going to co come to the one and three fourth. And I'm going to uh, line up my paper. I hope that I am in frame. I'm going to line up my paper with one and three fourth, which is right there. You can see that my paper is lined up right there at the one and three fourth. And all I gotta do, sis, is I gotta punch it. And then I'm gonna take the score tool and see this little groove? Well, that lines up right here at the edge and all I'm going to do is score my paper. Okay, from now on, I really don't have to measure if I don't want to, but I kinda always keep an eye on it because I'm gonna take it out. See the little notch that it, it did right here? 
and then there's my score line. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to give it a quarter turn. And then I'm going to put it right back in in the um, in the punch board and see where this little piece sticks out right here. This little piece, this little tab, you're going to line it up with the score mark that you did and you're going to punch again. So see, now I'm not looking at my measurements because that's my guide right there. As long as this lines up with the score line, I'm good. So I'm going to I'm going to punch it and I'm going to score it again. So there it is. Now I'm going to take it out and I'm going to give it another quarter turn. And when I put it back in here this time, it should line up with the one and three fourths over there. And if it doesn't, this, that's my time that when I need to straighten it up. So I'm going to go ahead and punch it and I'm going to score it again. And then I'm going to take it out again. I got one more turn to do. So I'm going to turn it and then I'm going to slide it right back in and I'm going to line this notch with the score line again and I'm going to punch it and I'm going to score it. So that's one of uh, my envelopes. Okay, the only thing that I do different, you uh, in the back right here has a little, uh, when you punch it again, it'll curve the tips on your envelopes. I don't do the side ones. I just do the top and the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to put it in there and you can tell which is the lengthwise because of the score marks. So I just do the top and I do the bottom and I don't bother with the side flaps because you're not going to see that. So that's one envelope right there and I'm going to go ahead and prepare my other one. and. What I'm going to do with this one, guys, I'm going to flip it with the raised part facing down. And I'm going to hopefully be able to slide it in here. Oh, it's going to be a little difficult, guys, because of the uh, embossing. But again, I'm going to line it up with one and three fourth. And I think this is going to make a pretty envelope. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to score. There's my score line. I'm going to rotate it. And line up that score mark and there it is lined up punch and I'm going to score whoops it moved I'm going to um, score I'm gonna rotate it again and uh, this time when I put it slide it back in it should line up it's kind of a little hard to do guys because of the 3d embossing on here so it's giving me a little trouble, but it is doable. So I'm going to make sure that this is lined up here. And if I want to be doubly sure, I want to make sure that right here it lines up with the one and three fourth. And I'm going to punch again. And I'm going to do my score line right there. And we have one more. And with this one, all I'm going to do is check that my score mark is lined up with... Um, the little notch right here and I'm gonna punch again and I can see right here that it is correctly lined up because if it wasn't if it wasn't then the score mark would either be way over here on this flap or way over here on this other flap so that's pretty much how you know once this edge is this corner edge is lined up with here you know that you're right anyway so this is the other one again I'm gonna do the same thing I am going only to punch the um, the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to slide it in there, punch, turn it around, and punch. There. So I'm going to move this out of the way, move these little bits out of the way. That's all it is, sis. You look at what size of card you want to make, and then here are the measurements for the how to cut your paper and where to score, where your score line, where you start your score line. So I'm going to move this out of the way, and I hope that I explained it well enough. If not, we can give it another go. Um, so all I'm going to do here, because I can see the score marks, I'm just going to crease it. Look at how pretty this envelope is with the uh, 3D embossing folder. And then I'm going to fold it here. And that's all there is to it. And then I'm going to add my wet glue. Especially, I'm going to add wet glue to this, guys, because it is, um, and not all the way to the tip, 
because you don't want it to close uh, especially because it is embossed because it's embossed you want to make sure to use some type of wet glue because um, that way it'll uh, adhere sometimes when you use tape or something it won't adhere and um, so because of the embossing so you want to make sure that added a little too much glue there and I want to make sure this is glued down so just make sure that you have plenty of glue I uh, usually uh, you really don't have any trouble but because I chose to emboss this that's where the trouble comes in but see I didn't bring it all the way up to the tip because I don't want to close my envelope I want to be able to slide my little uh, note in here look at how pretty this is oh my goodness that's pretty so there's one envelope sis and if of course if I wanted to close it then I would just fold it right here and there is my envelope but I'm choosing not to close it for now and I'm just gonna leave it open like that so there's one so let's put the other one together here's the other one um, again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna turn the flaps in and you can use either a bone folder or just fold it in. So I'm going to turn it all in where the score marks are. And then the bottom piece also. And the top, I'm just going to leave it open like that. And again, I'm going to just take my wet glue. And I usually do use wet glue, guys. I don't use... Um, I don't use any tape to do these. I I actually, my preference is wet glue, to be quite honest. And I'm going to just close it there. I love these little glue bottles. They're so easy to handle. You know, especially with uh, my eyesight being what it is. Even though I wear glasses, guys, I can't. Um, they just don't work for me. So there it is, guys. And this is the paper that Miss Jacqueline had gifted me. And I had a little scrap there because I don't throw anything away. But there's the envelope. I hope that this helped you, sis. And, of course, if you wanted to make it bigger, like to to do like a gift card or something, of course, you could have made it bigger and then adhered this to the front of your envelope. And look at what pretty statement that would have made on a bigger envelope. Um your embellishment so that's a great way to use your embellishment and uh, where's my other one okay so here are my two envelopes that I created these are not gonna go to waste guys I am going to stamp something and make them into some type of embellishment um, but sis that's that's really all there is to it and of course the bigger the other uh, the original um, punch it for the bigger ones works exactly the same way you just choose the card size and then you cut your paper according to the measurements given here and then the score lines are here it tells you where to score and that's only your beginning score line afterwards you line up with your score line and the tab but you just go across this way not this way but across like this and that's how you get all the dimension all the measurements that you need to make your envelope i hope that this helped you sis i hope that this helps anybody that had any trouble difficulties with this um it, it's really easy to use and i'm sure there's a lot of videos out there guys but my friend asked me if i would do one and i always try to help whenever i can Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and God bless. Bye.